Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I will demonstrate you concept of how to use the drawable gradient and animation all these three concept together. So let's start developing a project. You can click on start new Android studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then uh, whenever you can uh, click on next, it will asking you for the application name. I'm just giving the name of the application is animation drawable gradient demo i want to combine all these things uh, that is uh, animation drawable and gradient let uh, let me explain what i want to do over here i want to perform like what uh, i want to use the linear gradient for three different files and that i want to put into one animation files and that animation i want to going to uh, use in a background of your main activity so let's start developing an application very simple first of all you need to set the colors so i am going to resource values and you can move to colors.xml i am uh, defining here the colors that is that are the basic colors uh, the color name is equal to for example my color is uh, color name is a start color and i am just giving the zero f, uh, f zero zero it means it is red color let me copy the same things and you can paste again this is start color uh, then i want to set the center color in center i want to put the green color so i will use the 0 f 0 then you can put the and color uh, which and color you want to use so i am uh, just using the 0 0 f i am using three different colors one is red another is green and another is the blue but there are uh, three different names one is start color center color and and color i am using the red green and blue now once you define your colors then it's time to define the drawable file so let's uh, define the drawable file so you can just right click on drawable new and then you can select the drawable resource file here i am giving the name of my drawable resource file that is gradient start uh, here you can choose your root element which uh, root element you want i want the shape over here so you can choose the shape and you can click on ok whenever you click on ok here in design you can write about your shape so let me uh, define that which shape i want here you can choose that my shape is rectangle in rectangle what you want here you can define in a gradient so here in a gradient whenever you are uh, choosing gradient you first of all you need to define the type so i'm just defining that i want to use the linear gradient once you define the linear gradient then uh, definitely whenever you are using the uh, linear gradient you need to define the angle so i'm defining the angle here you can define the 45 angle you can define the 135 90 these are the angle of degrees so you can define like this now it's a time to define the colors so i'm simply defining what see start color is equal to my name of the color is a start color center color is equal to i'd already defined the name that is center color and color is equal to here you can uh, add the and color now you can move to your design and you can check that one gradient file is created right now uh, you can copy this i will use in another two different gradient file see uh, i created a one gradient file that name is linear in which i use what my start color is uh, 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 start color is start color that is uh, red green and blue i use all this three now it's a time to define another drawable file so i just right click on new uh, drawable new and you can choose the drawable resource file then you can uh, add one more drawable file name over here i'm just writing here gradient center in gradient center you can choose again which shape you want so uh, i will just use the shape property uh, shape as a root element and then you can choose the shape now i am defining that uh, my shape is again a rectangle now i already copied uh, gradient from my previous file so let me define here now colors now it's a time to cha uh, change the color so what i am doing see in center file uh, i will just change the color by one step it means uh, uh, start color i will make the start color will be the 
my center color my center color will be my uh, and color and my and color will be my start color uh, th that start color is red green and blue but i'm just changing the things and you can just check over here see slight change into my design uh, this is my gradient start and this is my gradient center i'm using the same colors same angle but i'm changing the sequence start i'm changing the start color center color and and color now it's a time to define one more gradient file so you can just right click over here uh, in drawable folder new and you can take the drawable resource file here you can give the name of your gradient file i'm just giving the gradient and then you can choose the root element i'm choosing the shape then you can click on ok once you click on ok now it's a time to define the shape so you can define the shape over here i'm just defining the shape that is again a rectangle then you can define the gradient over here now i want to define one more change into this start stop and center color so what i'm doing see here in start color i'm giving the and color here in center color i'm giving the start color and in and color i am giving the center color you can just move to your design and you can check that uh, one more look of your red green and blue see this is the start this is the center and this is the end now what i want to do i want to simply uh, list this or i want to just change my activity screen um, for uh, two and a half second i want to display this screen for two and a half second i want to display this screen and for two and a half second i want to display this screen right so you can uh, change your main activity file right so very simple whenever you want to do like this you need a animation list over here so again now it's a time to define one more drawable resource file so you can just right click on your drawable now uh, be careful over here in drawable resource file you can give the name of your resource file i'm just giving the gradient animation but you need to choose the different root element now you can choose here animation list why because i want to put the animation of this three different gradient over here so you can just click the animation list and you can click on okay once it is done now it's a time to define the three different items over here so very simple here you can add the items in item tag you need to define which item you want to add and for how many much duration you want this so you can just define the duration i am just giving here value that is 2.5 it means 2500 milliseconds it means 2.5 seconds uh, this item will be available in my gradient animation uh, let me define the drawable file and for this i am uh, giving the drawable file that is start gradient so what happened my start gradient will be uh, available in this animation for uh, 2500 milliseconds let me give here the different name now the gradient center i want to launch right so the, uh, this is the another item then uh, you can add one more item over here and that is gradient and now you can look at over here see there are three different previews are available i want that this all three after every 2.5 second uh, this screen should be reflected into my main activity background right so this is the gradient animation that i've already set into drawable so what i did uh, up to now i just defined the gradient one two three as well as i defined the colors whenever you define the colors gradient and animation now it's a time to define this animation file into your layout and main activity so very simple here you can move to your layout and that layout is activity main here in activity main i want that my uh, this background should be displayed over here so very simple here in activity main you can move to your design be careful over here you need to define the two properties of your constraint layout or any root layout and that property is first of all give the uh, id over here so here you can define the add the red plus id and define the name of your constraint layout i am just giving the name of my layout that is root 
second thing that you need to take care of what here you can set the background and my background will be this animation file right whenever you set the background and whenever you execute this application your animation background will be reflected to your screen but it will not change the frequently value until and unless you start your animation but you can just check over here see uh, whenever you execute your application this animation is available over here but animation effect is not started yet why because you need to start your animation effect into main activity dot kotlin file so let's move to over here here you can just define what you can create an instance of eddy as a you can just uh, animation drawable instance you can declare root this is the name of your activity main here i given the name of id that is root root dot now you can get the background root dot background here in root dot background you can define that uh, i don't want this uh, drawable object i want that as animation drawable so animation drawable will be initialized to my ad now you can just write ad dot start now my animation will be started but you can just change check that see here what happens it will first load my start gradient but after uh, see here uh, carefully after 2.5 seconds see immediately it changed the my screen but it is not like the animation uh, I'm not found founding here any animation effect suppose if you want to set here animation effect then you need to define one more thing that is what here you can define the eddy dot set enter fade duration it uh, here you can define the it is in millisecond so uh, sl slowly slowly the fading effect will be stuck started and it will be started up to how many uh, duration you want to set so here you can set the exit fade duration and exit fade duration means what it is the amount of the seconds that you set over here in your dura uh, drawable file that is in gradient animation file just define the same why because we want that that particular fading up to this much of seconds that is up to 2500 milliseconds so let's just see what effect is here now you can see consciously the screen is changing see and after to every 2.5 seconds you can check that here slight animation is going to be displayed over here in my background of activity but still one effect is remain over here what suppose if you think that i want to apply this to my uh, layout in a full screen mode suppose if you want to allow this for full screen mode then you need to define the one flag over here in activity main so you can just write like this window dot decor view dot system ui visibility is there system ui visibility is equal to you can set the flag that is vi view dot system ui flag layout full screen so my uh, this uh, view will be available to full screen mode you can just check now see my effect of this effect of this animation is uh, available over here and you can just check for every 2.5 seconds my uh, uh, animation of gradient animation is reflecting over here this is the way you can apply your animation drawable and gradient together that's it from my side thank you for listening to me if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all